Welcome back once again, Spazites, to another LEGO Let's Build video. Today we have the Ninjago Legacy Titanium Mini Mech, set number 30591. And I know this is going up a little late today, but that's because I have been slacking off. I usually like to schedule my videos for three. This will be going up as soon as I get it recorded. So if you were waiting for my Monday video, Thanks for waiting, and uh, if you're brand new to the channel, hey, welcome! This is a fun place to be. It's just me sitting here talking about random stuff while I build Lego and do toy reviews and stuff. Uh, yeah, if this is your first time here, please leave a thumbs up, comment down below. Uh, also, I'd love it if you drop me a subscription. It's completely free for you to do and help me grow my channel. I'd really appreciate that. And uh, without further ado, let's uh, get to our Let's Build. So let's open the bag here. And as you can see, this one is a two-in-one with a, uh, a little wolf of some sort. Uh, I may have to buy this set a second time to build the wolf. Uh, also, I need to go online and find instructions for it because these multi-build bag sets never have instructions for both builds. It's just one. Also, there is no minifigure with this set because it's a uh, micro-scale, larger, you know, set. So, anyway, let's, uh, let's open up our instructions and start... Start building. I'll put the instructions over here to the side. And uh, let's see, the first piece I need is this cylindrical barrel right here. I guess I could just say barrel. I don't need to say cylindrical barrel because that's kind of what a barrel is. Just a uh, straight up cylinder. And then I need a second 2 by one plate. There we go. Next is, let's see, we need... Put that down. We need one of these and a fancy corner piece to go like, whoops, Urgh. to go like this, I believe. Yeah, like that. And then this goes right there. Boom. This would also be a great piece for... Uh, Building little mock mechs because it's got a lot of these little ball joint pieces that a lot of the uh, mock artists use that I see. We've also got the uh, double-ended piece here, which is really cool as well. But anyway, let's get back to our build. After we've put that together, we need... This is a rare piece. I'm not that familiar with the... Uh... The headlight with them on two sides. Usually it's one side or the other side or all four sides. But from this way it looks like a normal little Lego brick. But then it's got two of these. That's kind of cool. In in my honest opinion. Uh, M-I-H-O. And uh, please ignore the sound of the uh, shaved ice truck outside. <laughs> with that crazy uh, ice cream music. I'll try and talk over it and drown it out so that it's not a big part of the video. <laughs> Let's see, we take a cool little edged corner piece there, and then another one over there, like that, I believe. Yes. Yes, that's how that goes. Okay, next we put this down, and then there is a 3x3 three three plate. These are pretty rare. Uh, again, in my opinion, I don't see these very often, so that's pretty cool. And then we need this little bad boy right here goes in the corner like that. And then we take two little ball joints, one there. And then if I can find the other one, oh, uh, let's see. There it is. You all probably saw that before me. <laughs> and then after that, we take one of these corner pieces and drop it down right there to lock everything in place. No. Like that. Boom. And then we take one of these little claw bad boys. And that goes right here. Like that. As well as, let's see, where are they? These little smooth slopes go 
there and on the other side I just need to find the other little smooth slope here it is B uh, boom there we go I tried to do a preemptive boom and it did not work <coughs> pardon me okay after that step we have another little corner funky corner piece that goes right there and then we have this little clear blue piece that actually goes on here at an angle to the rest so it's like that and then on top of it we have a little white cheese wedge boom like that and i believe that's the top of the mech but i'm not sure i guess we shall find out and then this whole assembly goes right like that and i think you line it up so that these four go into those four instead of going in between them like you normally would i think you line everything up like that and then it goes it's nice and smooth against the uh wall there you see there's barely there there's a little gap there but it's not very big anyway next step is put this down again and this has a lot more steps than i'm used to for a bag set <laughs> we got boom and then this is going to be a slightly longer video than i'm used usually make for my let's build videos okay there's that and then let's see we got little white cheese wedge there and then little clippy piece there like that after that we get uh, one of these and um, it's black here it is one of these that goes like that and then that goes boom like that and then i think that is it no we also get a wing over here boom okay there's that and then this whole thing goes right there like that i think yes okay so that goes there i believe this is an arm and i believe this is the front of the mech so anyway, then we basically do that again, but in a mirror image. So we take one of these, one of these, uh, one of these, uh, another one of these. Make sure you put it on right. And then... Boom and boom. Let's see. This one goes like this. And then that goes there. And then our wing. Boom like that. And then... There we go. Okay, so there's the start of two arms. And then that's the end of the first side of the instructions, finally. And we still have a full page of instructions on the other side. <laughs> so, whew, okay, let's, uh, let's get to it. Let's see what we got going on here. Um, okay, first we need this piece and this crazy piece that uh, I don't see very many of. So that'll go like that. Boom. There we go. And then next, set that down. And then we need uh, to do this twice. We need two more of these double-ended ones with a white plate on the bottom. And... Uh, There it is. And then a gray plate, or sorry, blue plate on top. 
and then those both go on there just like that and it looks like we are making the legs now come on there we go okay that satisfying click is nice okay and then that goes down here boom there we go okay next step is a leg and then we're going to be doing this in mirror image as well just like we did with the first one so i'm just going to build them both at the same time right in front of the screen here we got two legs like this we got boom and boom we got uh boom and boom like that then we got two of these one goes here one goes here okay next we got two of these they go over the top of everything we just built and then just two little two by one bricks go on the back here we got two of these here and two more on the other side okay we got three by one plate there three by one plate there and then next is um we turn it over put one of these like this and the other one whoops that's the wrong piece <laughs> the other one like this okay and then we've got our legs built let's see uh i missed a piece i'm sorry on the two by one brick we take these little uh angled or these little uh steeple type pieces and there we go okay so then we've got our legs snap and uh snap woohoo there he is he's, he's coming together look at that okay next we have two arms again they are built uh in a mirrored way they're exactly the same otherwise start with oh no they're not they're different okay that's cool this arm gets this neat little piece i love this element that's a fun element to play with and then on top of that we get uh one like this and one like that okay take another blue piece there like that little white slope goes here on the side and then he also gets a sword right there and then that becomes this arm and he's got a cool wrist cannon underneath his arm that's cool and then uh the other arm is a little bit plainer we got boom we still get our two little pieces like that and this on top we just don't get the uh the extra cannon on the uh, underside which is a little disappointing so whoops here i'm tearing them apart while i'm trying to put them together let's go come on where is that satisfying snap there we go boom okay and let's twist that sword so it's correct and then here are our extra pieces three little extra pieces very common and here is our mech and uh yeah let's uh i'm gonna change the uh the camera here so we can get a better look at him and uh yeah give me one second okay there's that little cut there but yeah here he is i like this little mech he is cool i'm a little disappointed that the arms are so far back on the body like that where the shoulders are 
But other than that, this is a really cool little mech. He's got lots of little moving parts, so you can put them in different positions. I'm guessing this is some sort of antenna. Um, I feel like they should have done something back here with this little back corner right here. I could probably put that spare white piece there or something. I don't know. Haven't decided. And then he's got cool little legs for articulation. He can move in the waist because of the way that's put together, which is really cool. He can obviously do the splits. Um, his arms are really articulated, even though he can't bring them that far forward. I do like that. He's got great knee articulation, 90 degrees. And then they can also fold a little bit the other way because of that. He can kick more than 180 degrees front and back. So he's got some really cool uh, posability features. I like, I, like, I like posability in my action figures, and I would consider this an action figure. Even though I built it out of Lego, this is a really neat figure. I like it. So yeah, there we are. That has been the, uh, the uh, oh, what was it called again? Let me see the bag. <laughs> that has been the Titanium Mini Mech from Ninjago Legacy. So this is based off of one of the uh, legacy mechs that the Ninjago ninjas used over the years. But yeah, this is really cool. I especially like the uh, little cannon under the, the gun, under the arm here. I think that's pretty cool as well. I'm guessing this is the, uh, the uh, clip for holding the ammo for the cannon. So that's a, that's a cool, cool little... Uh, detail that they added in. Anyway, that's been the video. Once again, if you like this video, please uh, leave a comment down below. Also, if you really like this video and you're not already, please subscribe. It's completely free for you to do and help me grow my channel. And uh, I'd really appreciate it. So uh, yeah, with that being said, until next time, thanks for watching. Be kind, happy hunting, and goodbye. Don't forget to wash your hands. And if you go out, please wear a mask. Bye.